Well, hello everybody, it's Dr. Sachin. Good afternoon, and I hope you are in, out enjoying what is a chilly but really sunny day as we get, you know, three days into spring. So, it was cold last night. I don't really like the cold. But it's getting warmer, the sun is shining brighter, the days are getting longer incrementally, and I have great optimism that, <laughs> you know, as with all things, the sun will still go up and come down and we will get warmer and warmer and warmer. So this, this morning, or this afternoon, I guess, I'm going to chat with you very briefly on this Teachable Tuesday about optimism and how when you have optimism fueling your purpose and your drive and you're using your gifts, it is literally addictive. It is just as addictive as chocolate or a good glass of wine or a great show that you love or whatever else it is that you find that you just have to have one of those passions that you just have to have and love. So I was having a conversation this morning um, with someone and, and she and I were just talking about the state of business. And first of all, shout out to small business owners, right? Like we are holding it down. We are kicking ass and taking names and being fairly optimistic in what can sometimes be in the face of some dire financial news coming out of all kinds of sectors. So calling out and shout out to my small business owners out there. Keep on keeping on. Um, anyway, so uh, we, were talk we were just chatting this morning about how we are feeling a sense of optimism because, you know, the days are getting longer and it's getting warmer and the, the light just feels brighter and more, um, more clear. And, you know, she said something that was so beautiful. She said, when you know what you're doing, you can weather any storm because you just know what you're doing and you know what your purpose is, right? You know what your purpose is and you know what you're good at and you just keep doing it. And that optimism of, I know what I'm doing, beats back so much fear, right? When we know what we're doing because we are aligning our purpose, we're using our gifts in a way that honors our purpose and actually helps us achieve our goals, we beat back so much fear and anxiety and just heart or heart rate inducing, uh, speeding, you know, inducing paranoia about the state of everything. When we know what our purpose is and we know what we're intending to do in our business, in our life, in our finances, in our whatever the case may be, when we know what we're doing, and as women, this is really important. When we know what we're doing, we have a purpose that is in alignment with things that we are, that we know that we are either really good at already because they come easy to us, or we know we can learn them and our learning curve is not going to be super steep, or our purpose drives us to learn a gift that will allow us to create something new and beautiful, like all those amazing women entrepreneurs out there who start from scratch with just the idea of something and they learn things along the way and then all of a sudden they explode and we have tons of small businesses out there and large businesses out there that are great examples of this. But when you understand and know your purpose, when that download comes into your brain and it says, here's what you are going to achieve and here are the things that you're going to use because you are freaking good at this, you can feel optimism in the face of just about any circumstance. Lack of resources in the moment, we got this. Lack of uh, know-how, we'll hire someone. Inability to crack that nut, I don't have to crack that nut. I got to keep my eye on the purpose and hire somebody else to crack that nut. When you understand the purpose for which you are doing the things that you are doing and you are marrying your gifts, the things that you are good at to that purpose, you cannot help but understand. You cannot help but feel the flow of the universe going Hoo! and everything kind of aligns for you to be successful. That's what's most important today. It is Tuesday. It is March 25th. We are in the, the very beginning stages of spring, early spring energy, and we are addicted to our purpose and our optimism. And so today I'm asking you, I'm imploring you, what is your purpose? Where is your purpose leading you? Are your gifts in alignment with that purpose or are you fighting against the tide? Are you battling uh, trying to be or do or create something that is in fact not within your purpose, which is why it's so effing hard because it's actually not something that your purpose really wants to be doing. This is where I get off the, the follow your passion wagon because so many times people are following Following their passions and trying to do things and their purpose is like I'm over here could you come back over here to do this thing that I really want us to be doing because we're good at it and you're like no no but wait this thing this thing over here that I'm not so good at but I really 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 love I'm just gonna struggle at that for a while no optimism and zest and motivation and joy that comes when we are in our purpose using the gifts that we know we're good at to make amazing things happen that is what brings us that sense that I can fucking conquer the entire world that's a feeling 
that we should all strive to have. That's a feeling that gets us up in the morning and keeps us motivated. That's a feeling that gets us scribbling our ideas on an idea pad all day long because they're coming at us so fast. Our purpose, when fueled with our gifts, is as addictive as chocolate and a good glass of wine. All right, that's my message on Tuesday. I have so many things going on today that I wanted to just pop in here really quickly and say, make sure that your purpose and your gifts give you the optimism that you need, the feel that you need to get things done the way that you want them done. Your goals are like this close to you, this close, this close right here, not this close, but this close to you when you know what your purpose is and you use your gifts to get there. So on this very optimistic day, go out, slay hard, have fun, and most of all, keep smiling because it's Tuesday and we're all still here. All right. Have a great afternoon. Take care. Bye.